Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my perspective of the second day of the Paradox Hearts of Iron 4 Anniversary Multiplayer. I've decided to split this into two videos, because after day one we have, essentially, one. And I'm going to explain how we proceeded in a moment. Before that though, this video is sponsored by Paradox. Regardless of whether you are familiar with Hearts of Iron 4 or not, I encourage you to click the link in the description below and check all they have available for this wonderful game. It's been with us for five years and I think its popularity is only growing. And for good reason, it's really good, so do check it out. Now, what happened on day one? And what is this game at all if you're stumbling on this video uh, randomly? If you just stumble on this and didn't see part one, I'll leave a link to part one. But essentially it was a multiplayer game with five teams. Let's go to factions map mode. Team Poland, they're named after the nationality of the players, contained me as Bulgaria, Kawach as the Netherlands, and Dankes as Germany. As you can see, we've conquered quite a lot. Team Denmark, was the Soviet Union, Turkey and India. Team Russia was United States, Mexico and South Africa. And Team Turkey was Japan, Brazil and Canada. There was also a dev team, Britain, Portugal and Spain. But after what we did on day one, it's just Britain. We also managed to beat the Soviet Union and Turkey and India. And we were standing right next to Moscow on the end of day one. We have been proclaimed victorious, but it's a two day event. So to make sure there is still fun to be had, we agreed to do a white piece with our enemies and there was a nerf so that we can fight on equal ground again. We were nerfed, a lot of our African possessions were taken, which pretty much removed around 50 military factories from Germany, while Team Denmark, Soviet Union, received around 100 military factories for free, as well as quite a bit of equipment, as well as at least six months of a white piece. So yeah, we won already, but it's a two-day event, so they nerfed us and now we have to win again. I'm recording this bit as post-commentary, of course, so I can tell you what our plans were. There's not going to be any stream sniping on an event that happened a week ago. We have decided that our first act should be to beat up the United Kingdom, because they are bombing us relentlessly all the time. So we gathered up our forces and prepared to invade the UK. And after that is done, we would prepare. We had firm roles assigned in the team. Tankers playing as Germany was doing tanks and invading people with those tanks. I, playing as Bulgaria, uh, was pretty weak for a very long time but now I'm finally becoming powerful. Why? Well, because Bulgaria has some very, very strong bonuses from their focus tree, especially this, the Bulgarian Patriarchate, which gives us a lot of compliance gain. So the territories I conquer um, become 100% compliance in like 500 days. So I am the one that takes over all the conquered territories in order to build up compliance and provide industry for the others. I have pretty much no research done apart from basic infantry stuff because I was meant to only provide basic infantry support. I'm making guns guns 3 and sending them to people, also some anti-air, and focusing on getting a lot of civilian factories and some military ones to also send them to my teammates because my economy is insane. Kawak playing as the Netherlands was tasked with preparing some marines and naval invasions and, you know, generally helping micromanage everything. He got some tanks as expeditionary forces too. My role was also to prepare plans to invade the AI on day one. As you can see, that worked out very nicely and I'm doing spies. But other than that, I'm pretty bad at micromanagement, so I don't have to micromanage. I'm just providing pure infantry support and doing the industry and spies. Okay, enough of that introduction. Let's see how day two played out. Day two. I mean, they boosted Soviet a lot, I know, man. I know, I saw that. It's fine. A hundred more military you know. <laughs> Filled out all yeah. of Siberia. <laughs> ah, you know, what the hell. It's fine. Soviets has gotten about a hundred mils. A hundred more military factories. It's uh, and how many pretty cray cray. I lost 50. <laughs> so minus 50 for me, plus 100 for them. Yeah, we'll have a balanced game. <laughs> so after we take Turkey, I don't need to defend the ports in the Mediterranean at all. Yeah, 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 exactly. Then that full army goes elsewhere. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but with Kawach we took all the British islands. Um, in yes. the Mediterranean in the meantime, so they shouldn't be able to even reach the area. Daniel is now in Australia. He's going to be the Australia yeah, wild card. Maybe yeah. They should have switched him to non-aligned. Emu Empire is just so much better. We will be announced as the winners though, right? That's what I, think. I hope so. We planned for a week, man, to make you fat. <laughs> Maybe Tauror can order 66 whole Soviet Union and we will start it will be over soon. <laughs> yeah. I could. I could do that, but I think I'd be disqualified if I did. Yeah, they just fixed the war support for everybody that had problems with the war support glitch. Women in the workforce. Okay. Is going. Oh my god, I have to get my whole army from Africa. 
Yeah, they, they nerfed in yeah. Poland. You instantly train those divisions we talked about. You want me in Syria, right? And the area around it. Yes. I have so much to repair. Yeah, can I get a sim boost on Germany? Once we unpause, okay? Okay, and let's wait for the unpause and let's go. I'm just waiting for, you know, to do stuff we talked mm -hmm. about here. Oh, they have unpause, they have unpause. Yes, let's go, guys. You wanted the sim boost, right? Germany. Do you have oil? You have three oil. Okay, I'll buy that from you. And then make it into fuel and send it to you. What else? License production. We'll let the Bulgarians hold it, Middle East. Yeah, I can take it myself. Send you 12 sifs. If you need more, let me know. Yes, Australia is in the faction with the UK. But they are not in the war yet. No, they're not. Do you have the Marines soon? Yep. Uh, you shouldn't say publicly. Doesn't matter. You know. We just need Marines no. for stuff to happen anywhere. You sure you don't want my troops on this? Yeah, yeah, it won't be needed. Okay. But What's the deal like, we made? You know? uh, we have 50 less mills basically and uh, Russia has 100 more mills. And they have six months of white peace. Oh yeah, we haven't explained that. We were doing so well that we already won and now we're doing it again. And now we're doing yeah. it again. <laughs> like we won? And yeah, then and now twice, we have to win no? again, you know? I can send you those better guns for, for those troops you're taking. Make sure to put them on an elite and give them the best guns that I'm about to send you. These are level 3. I, I know, sent I you 10,000 hey, uh, a month. Kalak, put account. a ship next to Dover. Yeah. Put a ship next to Dover. I have a nice fleet, actually. I had to go back to civ building because I need to buy steel all the time. I have finally become strong. I have 5 million manpower. I think I'm taking garrison manpower from you. I don't need that anymore. Are you still sending me garrison manpower? Uh, no, no, that's, you know, once. You send it once and that's it. It doesn't actually um, help to do it more than once. Can you give me 10 sieves, Aurora? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, just send you Thank 10 sieves. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. That's I what I am. It. I am the sieve repository. Yeah. Yeah. He's like the golden mm. bank. What is UK getting here? Because how does he still have convoys? Can I safely buy Constant steel via or... convoys or are they bombing? Sorry, uh, are they convoy raiding us or not? Because... No, no, they're not. They're not. Okay, I'll buy steel from Australia and Canada. Okay, I think I'm ready to go with the boys. Put navy in the channel, Kalach. Kalach, you can put it. Yeah, it's on, it's on. I'm putting it. It went in. It's in, it's in, it's in. I'll be going now. They're going. Okay, I'm putting myself as well. You have green. Yeah, yeah, green bubble. bubble. Looking good. Standing already. Yeah, pl place cast, place cast. I think you're gonna break here actually, because it's like low strength. Maybe my infantry will break as well. Yeah, I'm breaking them, sure. I'm breaking them. They're dying. Go with, yeah, the, tanks, go with go the, the tanks, go with the tanks. I will not move infantry there, so I don't make you attrition, you know? Yeah, yeah. They tried to su support it, but I stopped 11 divisions in this province, man. Again, we think about everything, you know? Yes, let's go, boys! <laughs> yes? Let's, let's go, go. We see lightning coming, let's go, boys! <laughs> the Polandia! Polandia. <laughs> oh, you landed too! Ah, oh, I should have sent mine as well. It would yeah, have been fun. Yeah. I'm still going No, 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 attrition, attrition, Tauror. Oh, On the other side, uh, no, uh, new, new ports. Maybe I can still do it. Do not make him attrition, or anything, you know? Yeah, I fine. landed as well in the north. Yeah, no? yeah, good, good, good. You might actually get that. We have green air. This is working. Ready? We're gonna cap them, I guess? I got the port north. Good. If you connect with me, yeah, we got yeah. supplies. Okay, I will take Plymouth. Our tanks are super strong. England is on fire right yes, now. Yes, it is. I don't know how to explain it. This is meta. We made another plan and it perfectly yeah. worked, man. Like, holy shit, man. You think you're gonna be mad? Nah. And meanwhile, Paradox turning off the game again <laughs> to like, you know... <laughs> to add bunkers in Dover this time. Build bunkers in Dover, save. <laughs> uh, we uh, added yeah. bunkers and 100 mils to the... <laughs> nah, we'll see, we'll see. London has his fort. I'm moving in, right? Let's go, boys. Yes, you're moving uh, in. You're moving in. Let's you go, can boys. move in now. You can move in. Nice, we've got this, man. We have got this, indeed. Netherlands marine troops. Feels good. They nerfed us and England <laughs> We buff English ourselves. We get the 100 mils yeah. back. <laughs> We got the moves yeah. back, now we can fight well, Russia. We can fight Russia again, yeah. <laughs> we'll go to the US next, I guess, or something. We will protect Europe from we the will. democracy. Protect from democracy? <laughs> hey, I need a fuel, fuel. Already sending you all my fuel. Okay. All of it. I don't have any more to send. Everything is going to Dankus already. Dankus, even no fuel. Keep keep pushing. My infantry is pushing. <laughs> yes! There we go. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna give it all Bravo. to you. Uh, so... Give it to Bulgaria because you know the compliance. Remember, you're supposed to puppet uh, Portugal. Click done. What do we do with Malaya? Puppet? No more puppets. It's in, uh, the game is running. No more puppets. Enough. Yeah. yeah. Taura is oh, our yeah. like he's our camp guy. You know, yeah. like he takes everything. Okay, okay, we have a lot more economy right now. I'll just garrison you. That would be good. Yeah. I don't know. We should go like USA or something. We shouldn't do this. This is gonna be ending too quickly anyhow. Let's take out we're Ireland maybe to, while we have time. I'll justify for yeah. Ireland. Actually, it went as we yeah. planned. Like we planned this stuff out, and it went perfectly. Everything worked so cool. Yeah. 
How about we fight Russia and United States at the same time? I don't think we can win that. I really don't. I don't have the micro to win it that. It would be entertaining. Yeah, it could be. Um, but I don't think I can win that, dude. It's too much micro. We, to be done. we can't land there. We would have to um, ally ourselves with one of the other factions and help them defeat the and other. I think we're strong enough. <laughs> I don't have a lot um, yet from UK, but I'm building compliance up. I'll have them in a year. I have some crazy was... resource gain efficiency, even in those... What is your economy territories. right now? <laughs> Most and the finally bombing stopped, man. Yeah, there we go. That's how you fix bombing. Uh, thank you for watching the tutorial. I mean, let's be honest here. We just kill UK because we were tied yeah, to bombs, you know, the bombing stuff. Anybody need guns or Soviet, You can give sieves if you want. How many do you need? They're effective if I have them because I have buffs, industry buffs or anything. If you need sieves, I'll give you sieves. If you want guns, I'll give you guns. I'm not sure what to do with the focuses. I have so much already. Oh, this gives me yeah. fast stability. That will work. If anyone want license production, so I get more civilian factories, I, I, I'm just open for it. Whatever you want, I'll trade you. Consider it. it. <laughs> you want old weapons, old tanks, I, I got it all. Old weapons sounds nice. <laughs> well, good luck, guys. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. Uh, are you producing any infantry weapons? No, I'm not. Uh, but I do have uh, 90,000 in stockpiles, so I don't think it's a huge issue. Yeah, but mine are better. I'm already sending 10,000 a month to Kawar. Okay, I'm gonna send you 30% of my gun production. Is that enough? Or too much? Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Slavic power, man. You should have the Russian tanks. tanks. The problem is, he's not Slavic. I tried to convince him to become Slavic, but... To become Slavic? How can you convince <laughs> someone to become another... Alright, I'm gonna do War with the USSR Focus, and that will give us a 5% attack bonus. It's for later, not right now, but for later. Oh, right. Turkey? You can't, you can't I know, they said you no. You send Natasha. They said no. I no volunteers, it's and... too even to send volunteers. And I agree, it's yeah. like they haven't moved ground much. I need some yeah. assignments, because I have 5 million manpower, an excess of guns and lots of infantry. So, do you need However, that infantry? Maybe... I have submarines, but I'm not using them because I'm just sending all my fuel to you. Hey, Taurer, can you please give me a docking crate? Why would you need that? Want to attack Japan? <laughs> hmm. Um, hmm. Since you asked nicely. Since you asked nicely. Oh. I fought with Slavic brothers and... Uh, <laughs> well, you, I did accept that, didn't I? You should get that now. Wait. I think I clicked accept. Oh, yes. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Good. Oh, improved national spirits. Yes, sir. This is the best one of T-Take London. You want to know what my mm. production efficiency cap is right now? Yeah, sure. 100.1. And I still have... Point two. 0.1, okay. Uh. I still have two technologies to go. I am going for an XGAV, if you would need it. I'm already... Uh, I'm getting 37 from you, and I'm paying for 90. That is a lot, yeah. Yeah, you boosted us with Industry Tower Euro pretty well. Yes, sir. <laughs> I still have 400 factories, almost. How much minerals do you have on uh, Bulgaria? Um, I have 158 military factories. Can you place, like, 20 into artillery, so... Um, sure. You could land links later artillery or something. It would be nice, because the attrition mm. of it is going to probably take some artillery. Yeah, I'm planning to do some special units with that, but I can uh, send you what's left. Yeah, I have a good save count thanks to you, Tariar. Well, that was my job in the game, right? Be, be yeah. the industry. Apparently. Still semi-nervous about how we're going to do the rest. My only job was to produce 10 marines, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we picked Netherlands. I don't think we're going to play same team yeah. on the next event or something. You know? I don't think that will be happening either. I think I'm All good right. to send some more troops down to uh, the Middle East. Uh, we shouldn't oversupply that. I have 16 tanks that's going to be in there. Uh, Aurior, I need you to build up uh, this airport here. It's no problem. pretty important. Yeah. Look at Siam. Team Russia is invading Siam. I don't know what to do with PP. I have almost a thousand. That question can go really wrong, you know. <laughs> don't assume we're going to beat them. They, they got a huge hmm. boost. Honestly, I think if we go into Russia, we're going to die in the... Um, Starving war, you know, like the occupation. Of no, because we have we'll uh, we have Tarior. Good stuff against starving. Yes, uh, mass mode <laughs> he on, on the production, basically. So yeah, what do you want to invade with your left. marines? Maybe here, Sevastopol or Where? something. Pairing How about you base. both go there? Because I can give you green air. I can bomb out their navy. You already have a few subs there. Keep on deploying I, your subs. Yes, there. I'm yeah. deploying them there specifically for that reason. Also have 16 marine units. Yeah. Should be possible. Yeah. Oops. Rain starting. Looks like rain to quote Geralt. 
I have air everywhere on the eastern front. We're gonna have a complete green air, no issue. Right, so how many armies do you need in Poland and Königsberg? Because I need to prepare those. No, I don't need any. We have too much infantry on the Eastern Front right now. Way too much. We can Wait. make naval invasions and stuff, and then you guys, like Baltics, you know? Baltics, Finland, make those naval invasions, if you guys can. Uh, we just need as much as possible happening against the Russians. Yeah. Kawach, you take the Baltic, I'll take the Black yeah. Sea. I have 50. I'm counting on them for getting them to defend the Black Sea because I'm not doing any invasions in the Mediterranean. I'm building factories in Spain now because I ran out of room. Why are you smashing your mouse? Yeah, did you guys hear that people commented on that yesterday too? No? We what, can hear your mouse. Yes, it's pretty loud. Yeah, we can hear it. Yeah, uh, I click it quite hard, I think. Give us 10% breakthrough if you click your mouse hard. Oh, does it? Exactly. Yes. Mm, but if you click it very have softly, you, you get spine network. Anybody wants manpower? I have 7 million free. 7 million, yes. Please send for garrison mm. supports. I think you have to ask. I have 50 units going yeah. as naval invasion. 16 of them are marines. The rest are 40 with infantry with artillery. It is a bit laggy for me when I call Let's them in. It. That's why go. I love having a macro for left click on another button. I just hold uh, enter. I'm pushing it with my infantry. And he's pushing it with tanks. Yeah. My naval invasions yeah, are it's... doing stuff too. Request garrison support. There you go. A million is enough? Yes, yes. A million and 30,000. Perfect. Thank God there is a company like Paradox Interactive that makes such a good games for multiplayer like Hoi Foreman. Like, yeah. I'm really happy about that. It is very fun. I would like to get Rostov if I can. I'm I'm invading yeah. everything. Four full armies of 20 with infantry ready to reinforce wherever I land. Wait, I never realized we own this territory. No, you can go from behind actually, lol. Yeah. Oh, right, yes. I Dude, forgot you should have put divisions. I forgot Wait, about that. I'll do like a surprise bombing though. When I have like 400 trap bombers, I'll start bombing Moscow. I'm with gonna infrastructure. Need you to give me some strategic bombers later. You know what for. Yes, that is. Yes, I know I what for, yeah. It's gonna take me years though. I'm not sure with this speed if I'm gonna be able to do it today. The Fatherland Front. Yeah. What? Communism popularity? What the hell is this? Oh, I have here. landed many naval invasions, but they're not ports. I'm trying to do stuff. I think I can do this, yeah. I'm trying to do stuff. I'm not quick. I'm not good at that. I can connect some maybe. I'm mostly just annoying them. I have so much manpower that it doesn't matter. Oh, they're leaving the port. Ah, got Sinop. Got the port in Turkey, almost. Oh my god, the game is laggy like crazy. Yeah, I know, feel I that? feel that. Australia got their ships in the Baltics, man. I mean, these troops will die, and they're good, heavy troops, but... Uh, then yeah. You have a lot of economy. You can re regain yeah, that. No problem. Fine. Five million free manpower. You guys can just try and connect to our territory we have already. Distractions are important, too. You're killing most of my units, but not all of them. Some of them... I might even take Stalingrad with all of them. Tauror, if you even can take oil for some time, it will be good, you know? Oh, I'm out of fuel, out of fuel, out of fuel, out of fuel. Let's find the land lease. Fuel. All of it. Fuel I'm about finer. to connect. I'm losing lots of troops. This is good, though. Fuel? I actually oh, managed to push from Rhodes down south, too. They, they sent 30 divisions to stop me from taking Stalingrad with just my one unit. We should cap Russia. I mean Turkey first. Yeah, like yesterday was a really good idea. I think I'll put down the fuel there too. I'm sending you 100% of my fuel production. And I'm sending lots and lots of troops to Turkey. Cypher against Turkey finally decrypted. There we go. Hey, uh, Tauror, you can move through here. Can I? Oh yeah, I can. I lost like half a million troops on this attack, but at least it distracted them. <laughs> it was worth it. I'm actually doing a lot of damage from the south. Saudi Arabia capped. However, I will try to circle the Istanbul 19 divisions. You think we can kill that somehow? I'm attacking oh, okay. it all the time. That, that's oh, that's Turkey died. Yeah, 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 there you go. The AI is doing so much for us. Sad because Team Poland got carried by yeah, AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally carried oh, by well. the AI. I'm, so, I'm sending some stuff to Iran. Should I go with the tanks to Caucasus because I have them like Ankara or should I go for like India and stuff? Do you want infrastructure on the infrastructure front or not? Should I build it? Yes. Max level? Yeah, I mean just do level yeah. 6 so you have it evenly. It goes faster to build up if it's only level 6 you need. Airports, you know, as well you can build if you can. Airports and yeah. Uh, Tauror, you have uh, your plan on Ukraine. Uh, you you can stop that because the divisions are losing equipment and they kill each other. Tauror? Can yes. you build up supply here? Just to level 6? I'm doing it right level now. Level 6 will do. Okay, how's the supply in the Eastern Front? I moved my troops away. It's pretty okay. Mm, do you need equipment? Because I, I have surplus equipment. I have anti-air, support right equipment now. and artillery. Could take some support equipment, like 1k if you have spare. Sure, I'll give you 2. Yeah, but the AI is definitely helping a lot here by just existing, honestly. You are still getting 30% of all my huge gun production. See what kind of surplus do you have? I think I have 
250k, but I don't have full gun 3 in my divisions, but I'm getting a lot of it. Yeah, I'm still sending you gun 3, so it'll help negative. Hello, Poland, France. Hello? Hello, Hello. Iskil. What's up? Ruski. Uh, nice game. Nice game, Poland. What nation are you? Russia, Russia. No, no. Well, in game. In game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of funny. I think <laughs> okay, that, okay, you got the MVP of this game, like for sure. Huh, I have forty-one percent participation. My infantry is yeah. actually doing stuff, apparently. Oh, expand here now. We gotta expand quickly. We're gonna encircle all okay. of Baku here. Moving. They actually uh, messed up here. We can uh, get through now. Cipher for the Soviets decrypted. I would like to bring your we attention do. to one thing. I have been working yeah. hard with the spies today. Soviet Union mm -hmm. will capitulate mm. when it has 47% or less victory points. I see the hand next to Soviet yeah. Union, right? Very good job, Tarot. <laughs> Still working on the last. That is good. Okay, Moscow is falling. What taking, the Moscow, taking Moscow changed it up. It's, it's switching back and forth, but uh, now we're 81% towards capitulation. I don't think Russia stands a chance. Not anymore, I don't think. I need them to capitulate to me. How can we do that? We can't, right? No. Because I have the compliance no. thing. I know, but that, that, that's we can't do anything about that, I think. Let's kill it. You have such high compliance build up anyhow. See, I wanted to do something really cool, but apparently not enough time. Uh, I wanted Oops. to create a collaboration government in the Soviet Union while we're still fighting the Soviet Union. <laughs> <laughs> Did they capitulate oh, now? Like that the cap? I think so. Wow. Victory. Uh, don't pop it because it will like lag the yeah, game more. Uh, you know? So what do we do here? I think um, Russia into Bulgaria. So I will just pass. You guys click done, and I'll do this quickly, all right. uh, so we don't waste people's time. Liberate oh, Republic. Wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. This is fine now. Uh, the bot is doing that stuff. Yes, it is. That is damn it. Where is Bulgaria? So I can give it. There it is. It's a new flag. Take all states. Great Bulgaria. Oh, wait, there's. Uh, oh, we can Australia, take Daniel too. Take all. I mean, they nerfed us, and then this happened. It sounds like a good movie title for your yeah. channel. We are done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, this crashed the game. Is the question? <laughs> no, it didn't. I mean, what dude, is this a puppet of? Justify against Belarus. Just. It's just a, it's, a, it's their uh, own country here. I mean, the Twitter polls were very against us. It is fun actually to win. Oh, we have not capped Pakistan. How about how about we take United States now and like Japan? We should probably have a talk with the devs. If you give air... Attack USA, people are saying, but USA seems <laughs> I, quite strong. Hey, listen, listen. How about I we can, go to war with yeah. both of them? Listen for a moment. Huh? I can do provisional yeah. government of the Soviet Union. Also, if anybody yeah. wants factories, I have a thousand. <laughs> you have a thousand factories. The compliance I was building with my spies actually worked, and I have 90% on the Soviet Union. But you do? Oh, 90%. 90%. No way. Oh, it's so a fast. thousand factory Bulgaria. Never seen before. <laughs> there, the factories they added to the Soviets was actually useful. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, we got more. <laughs> we could break the teams uh, in such a way that I support one of them, you support the other, and Kavak supports the one I support. It's beautiful. It is pretty <laughs> beautiful. Except for Belarus. Except for Belarus. Yeah. <laughs> the little... Why are you do oh. justifying against it, man? Some post-commentary to interject here. After we have beaten Team Denmark and I've annexed everything, getting 1,000 factories, it was decided that we're going to do a civil war, that I am going to fight Dankis and Kach. And of course it is an uneven fight, and not for the reasons you think. Yes, I have a much larger economy, I have a lot of manpower, and I'm much bigger. My industry is a beast, and so on. However, I only have infantry. Dankis has wonderful tanks. So, it was pretty apparent to me that I was going to lose this. But, I was going to put up a fight. Now, in order to micromanage everything, Dankis was given a bow as a partner, and they micromanaged all of the tanks together against me. Was that fair? Yeah, who cares? It's for fun. I on the other hand, was given an historical and Daniel to help me out. Daniel prepared a lot of naval invasions, that's just the beginning, because that's the save I could find. You'll see the details in a moment. And I tried to defend the entire border by building lots of forts there, but um, maybe I was a bit too enthusiastic on the speed of building these forts. But you're going to see everything in a minute. Now, one thing I could have done, and one thing I probably should have done, was just left these troops here, and they would automatically do an order 66 when we got attacked, or when we attacked 
um, someone on their team who would not be Germany. And those ports would be a wonderful place to start naval invasions from. But um, I decided against it and pulled these troops back, because that would be just uh, unfair, wouldn't it? Although I did have troops in Germany, and yes, if I left them in those ports, they would instantly become mine on war start, and we could just deploy lots of naval invasions right there, without even needing them to be naval invasions, because we would already own the ports. But, once again, I thought that would be unfair and pulled the troops back. In the meantime, Team Turkey and Team Russia are still battling it out here. So, let's see how it played out. We'll make the, the date that you can declare war June 6th, 1943. Because June 6th is not only D-Day, but it's the Hoi anniversary date. So we'll use the Hoi anniversary date as your go date. That will be when the Thunderdome can explode. Uh, but guys, awesome play today. Like, in Tower, I love your build right now, but you as well know that Dankus is 60 tanks are just gonna roll. What's going on? I'll come up with you. Yeah, sure. Give me give me half the tanks and we'll end this. 30 it's... minutes. Give me, give us 30 minutes, Dankus. Let's see if we can speed run this one too, just like you did yeah. all the other ones. <laughs> I have Naval Invasion 2, so I have 50. What, uh, what, light, what light tanks do we have? Light tanks? No, light tanks? I, I did just infantry. I was supposed to do the economy. Uh, I was okay, building yeah, yeah. Um, civil factories and giving them to other players. That was my role. I have guns, three, on infantry. I have some anti-air and artillery, support equipment, and other stuff like that stockpiled. So we could do some more advanced templates. Uh, I have the mass mobilization doctrine filled up. I can I can take a field marshal and just like create the line. The only strength we have that is that our border is long and we have more units. I also have a lot of strategy bombs, but nothing else, because I was supposed to use them for nukes, because I'm researching nukes. So we license fighters to for build Team fighters, Russia. and then we have like forts to, to delay us so we can research nukes. I guess that's the only way for us to win. I do like the start date of the war. What do you guys have planned for your weekend? Spending time with family. I have a small child. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wow. Two-year-old boy. Oh, wow. Congrats. Nice. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, so you guys what? Do we know? One field marshal each. We, we need to hurry up, there's already, uh, time is running. We need to um, do the template and the stuff. Can you guys uh, figure out the template for the thing? Choose the inf template and duplicate it, maybe, and add support companies of various kinds to it. I'm building force right now. 434 days for nukes, so that won't do much. Should I build well, the reactors? To do it. Too late? We are like, we don't have a choice, we need to build it. That's the only way to survive, maybe. Okay then, I'll build it far, far away. This huge army with 800 units is just uh, for converting, right? So you can switch it to whatever you need. Uh, we have unused factories. What should we build? Infantry equipment, anti-air, artillery, Team Russia. Team Russia is what? United States or, or Japan? Team uh, Team Turkey is Japan. Okay, I'll go to Team Russia. Hello, can I please get some license production from you guys? Oh, yes. What do you want? I need submarines. I need um, <laughs> fighters. Uh, tower, okay. I can give you fighters, and Katarhon can give you submarines. Uh, so, fighters from USA, right? No, fighters from uh, South. <laughs> South Africa. Okay, negotiate licenses. Clicking. And submarines from USA? Uh, yep. Four. A1. Wonderful. Better than what I had before. Do you have tanks as well? Katarhon, у тебя есть танки? Yeah. Only anti-tanks. That's 50 factories for you there. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, very much. Always to your pleasure. You so yeah, I got license productions for a bunch of stuff, including tanks, heavy tanks, uh, fighters, submarines, four, and stuff like that. <laughs> so can we figure out what Thank we should you. make? Oh, and uh, better artillery too. Advanced anti uh, advanced rocket artillery. Should we make tanks uh, or not? Can we make a couple of new generals? Do whatever you need. Uh, we don't need PP for anything. Mm. Remember, I have uh, mass mobilization, so the, the width is a bit different. Oh, you, gotcha. You can push more infantry into it That's if you want to. Okay, research right. strat bombers. Better strat bombers if we want. Like, I, I don't know how useful that strat bombers would be right now. Well, we need them to just... drop the nukes. Right? Already, although I do have yeah. some stockpile, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah, maybe it's just better to just go full on fighters, so we actually get the air superiority. Yeah, fighters, fighters, fighters. How many fighters? It's just fighter two, but... Oh, I already have 4,000 or something like that. Sure. Oh, yeah. Quickly, I start justifying, I... but I just realized now that it'll take 128 days can you do it faster? Probably could, but I don't want to be the attacker. I can do it in I 30 days. From May, June. Okay, so I'll, I'll justify. Okay, thank you. How about how about pure infantry would just support various yeah, supports? That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm changing the 40 width right now. <laughs> so I took nine full divisions, 200 divisions, to basically just move to Britain, because if we get any kind of 
beachhead. I'm just gonna throw all of them in there. Okay, do whatever you need. I still I still have a super weak line, like guarding his border. I mean he's gonna be able to push me if we can have more units and Vulcan. You, you can I can do a full army group. Or not Vulcan. No problem. Like everywhere. Oh like... that's good. Oh actually yeah, yeah. Actually I'm just I forget. I forget that you have so many units. I I'll just start making some more. God, now I'm just Never waiting mind. for manpower reinforcements to come. That's gonna take I love that time. you're getting four Hundred and forty thousand recruitable population every month. Oh, it's just switched to forty k. But I sent an entire army group to just garrison Bulgaria, but that's probably stupid. Can you make another line of level ten forts behind the first one? I can't even make level ten forts in time. We're about to attack them in a month. Fill Bulgaria with level ten forts. Oh shit! I forgot about the navy. Can I take it? Yeah, do what you want. Very tight on time now. Just location is ready. We have to attack them on the sixth, right? I think so. Uh, yeah, it was six, yeah. Come on, chop, chop, subs. What the hell are you doing? No, no repairing. Never, never repair. Yes, I wanna no. cancel your goddamn repair order. Wait, we don't have anyone in Portugal. Portugal uh, is his puppet. God damn it! That's the issue. Also having a large front, you forget about something. Should we just push him right away? He might not have enough troops to cover everything. Yeah, yeah, that we should definitely try. That's a bold move. I like it. Uh, that's like cool. that's why I think my naval invasion might work. Just naval made everything, including if we push all front lines, he might just break apart. Okay, good luck, good luck. Are we ready? Yes, I think so. We just we need to take mainland area. Germany. He's not like you. Come on, just please, naval invasions that. work. I think my naval invasions are going. Yeah, my naval yeah. invasions are going. Oh, uh, you got one unit to die. They just died in uh, Antwerp. Oh my god, this is the largest naval invasions I think I've ever done. It's kind of beautiful, actually. Uh, I don't see any units on any port. He's pushing Bulgaria us. Bulgaria belongs to you. Yeah, like, I'm just trying to push in there, and if they can't, who the hell cares? Just hold the front line and delay troops. Is this a field marshal level order, or is it just a... It's just a fallback line. It's not an attack order. You just made the fallback line, not the front line. You're not pushing. You want me to push? Yes. I thought we just, I thought we just wanted to hold. No, attack everywhere. Mm. Oh, all right. You landed in Germany. I'm, I'm sending all my divisions there. Oh my god, this is gonna be absolutely insane. Dude, their tanks are rolling through infantry. You know what we can do after this? When we're about to die, because we're gonna die, just click Release Nation and take Australia or something <laughs> like that and do play S. Russia France has fallen. Guys, the way into Germany is fine. It's clear and good. Oh my god. Germany is finally coming with troops on my front line now, but I don't know. I think it might be too late. Oh, uh, yeah, they're in the Balkans. I'm oh, trying. they're doing like that. So they're yeah, they, going they... for us. The same way we're going they, they for push hard with the tanks. I can't keep track of my divisions now. I'm just making you. Like, are, are you guys looking at the bottom part of your guys' screen? All those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. No, nothing happened. Well, the plan almost worked. This was bound to happen. You know, end the stream and end the event with a bang. I just, I can't even give any orders to to assign my troops properly. Well, at least we managed to capitulate. Uh, France, that happened. Really? I think losing now and letting him take everything is part proper ending style. Live with honor, die with glory. Or just don't, or just live. I, I've just quoted Reinhardt so many times because I've just kept dying. Our dudes in Spain are still holding the line. Proud of them. Yeah, because they're standing on level 10 forts or <laughs> as close as possible in mountain. Hold the line, is. boys. Hold the line. <laughs> kind of like, wasn't there like a bunker in Berlin that like held out the entire siege of Berlin? But even after the city fell? I don't know whose generals belong to who, no. or what happened to the field marshal. Uh, I just I hit I hit play. Yeah, and... I'm just watching stuff happen more or less. I'm oh, I'm so close to breaking through, but they just keep delaying me every single time. God, this takes such a long time. <laughs> the game is pretty slow now. With faster even... speed, we could have won. Now they actually have time to micro. Yeah, that makes sense. Like no chance in hell they would have been able to defend against this naval invasion otherwise. On level five, or on speed five, that would have been fun because you just need to put a garrison order in enemy territory. If there's one break, they just yeah, we would have won on speed five. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like they would have been doomed. They couldn't stop this naval invasion. They had no divisions at all in Germany. I can't Don't even select that, a research. Okay. It's so like no, I can't like it doesn't research. do. Nothing really works now, <laughs> and the game paused again. I I was wondering why nobody was moving, man. The host just keeps lagging too much. Cheaters, I say. Cheaters. They made the host lag. I've been trying to assign some units to an army for like a minute. I'm just going to break the computer that is running this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What can I say? Having an actual army beats having economy. This but, was his plan all along. Yeah, but you know, we had roles, right? I was supposed to just take territory and I was giving them all my fuel and my factories and stuff like that. It, it worked pretty well. Because Bulgaria has some very, very nice bonuses to um, compliance. 
and construction speed. Uh, after um, I took the Soviet Union, I had a thousand factories working because with the spy work I've been doing, I had ninety percent compliance there immediately. I, I actually do have a question. How did how did Dinkis end up on Germany? I thought he had selected the Netherlands in the draft. Um, we were selecting for the team, and I selected Germany, but uh, gave it to Dinkis because he's the micro king or whatever you call him. Got it. Oh, I assumed we were drafting for ourselves. I didn't know we were drafting for the team. I guess that makes sense. We agreed as a team that Dankus will do the best job as Germany. And it uh, seems like that was correct. And there we go. That was the last pocket. And how many more did we lose? Like one and a half million. Oh my God. So Let's we were, look at the losses. Yeah, we were at 4.8 when I checked. 5.8 versus 400,000. So that, that pocket was almost a million, man. And that was we... half the duration. So I lost 2 million right there. Yeah, that's one hundred thousand troops. Oh wow! <laughs> like I, when I said I like invaded that. with two hundred divisions, it was two hundred divisions. I just sent them in <laughs> the first port in Germany. So how haven't we lost yet? One of course, more. here everywhere. We're, we're about two. Just one major victory point on the win. Yeah, we're ninety-eight ninety percent. But the Spanish away. lines hold. There it is. It's gonna take like five minutes to process. We could jump over to their chat and talk a bit. Yeah, let's jump. While they're next so what you gonna do? Yeah. Did you like my naval invasion? Yeah, loved it. <laughs> yes, the entire I think we just do take all for simplicity. Yeah. I can't click take all states. No. <laughs> just press puppet. You can annex us later if you need to. Hey, I see the puppet decision. Oh, will this be it? Have a look at your <laughs> factories. Have a look at the amount of factories you have now. Oh my God. Oh man. She <laughs> said. Yeah, I like it. So here we are at the end after my very expected defeat. To be honest, I didn't really stand a chance. Maybe if I had another year to prepare, it would be much, much different. But um, just pure infantry can't really stand up against a wonderful tank template, can it? Unless you prepare yourself properly. Now, if I had more time, I could theoretically fill the entire area with forts and anti-air, get air superiority and fill it with infantry as well. And then maybe remain undefeated. All I would need to do to actually defeat uh, Dankus and the boat helping him and Kawakia over the long term would be to cut their access to oil. But see, I'm not very good at doing this quickly. In single player, I just uh, take my time to plan things out. How could I? How could I have won this? I'm not sure I could have. Perhaps if I defended myself properly, more properly, managed the forces better to hold their advance, and in the meantime, ramped up my naval production, and sank all their convoys coming from America with fuel, or negotiated with the other teams so that they would all go to closed economy so he couldn't get fuel, then it might have worked, although they did have synthetic refineries in Germany. So yeah, given enough time and planning, a victory would be possible, but the point was to have a fun game, and I think we did that. We did have a fun game, and dominated the old world, pretty much. Not touching the new one. Well, except for a tiny bit over here. And here, and here. And here and here. Okay, we touched it a bit. So, how did you like the entire multiplayer event? How did you like my perspective of it and the format I made it in? As in, you know, the cut up conversations between uh, the team. I'm not planning to do any multiplayers in the near future, but if I do, I would like to know your take on this format and what works best for the channel. So, do let me know in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching and thanks Paradox for sponsoring this video of mine. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.